Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics, and this is my YouTube channel where I review some of the things that I've read and tell you about them, where you can find them, all that fun stuff. But first, I am going to start out with a uh, bunch of Kickstarters that I think you should back. And let me start with Cherry Gilbert by Pat Shand and... Oh man, just waiting for it to come up. Low Tech Me, always. Uh, Ayala and Pat Shand working on Cherry Gilbert live on Kickstarter right now. This says that it has seven days to go, so you better act fast. Uh, Cherry Gilbert is a branch off from the uh, Destiny New York universe, and uh, man, I am a big fan of the Destiny New York universe. Um, I have all three volumes of it. The Kick Ass Barista, and uh, I even have the short stories of the Destiny New York um, coming soon. Uh, I kickstarted that a while ago, but it hasn't arrived in the mill yet. And yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I've backed a couple of different Pat and products before uh, Little Girl and um, Prison Witch, which. Uh, those are pretty good too, so I'm still waiting for the Prison Witch actually, uh, but Little Girl was a very good one about uh, a ghost that is haunting a toy penguin. If you're into horror or s straight up scare stories like The Ring or whatnot, uh, check that one out. Anyway, Cherry Gilbert on Kickstarter right now, seven days to go, get on that one. Um, what else have we got? Dark Threads Surf Girl is on Indiegogo.com right now. And uh, I'm not really sure what it's about, but it inter interested me enough to uh, get in on that one. So here we go. Check out Dark Threads Surf Girl. It is live on Indiegogo right now. It has, I don't know, 20, it has 42 hours left to go. Holy cow. So yes, 42 hours left. You better get in on that one right now. Um, and let's see, Tart. Tart is a new one now that, well, it's not new, uh, but it is just brand new to the Kickstarter. Um, it has 17 days to go. Tart, uh, I will talk about that later, but yes, Tart by Kevin Joseph is on Kickstarter right now. 17 days ago he must have done the short Kickstarter. Um, let's see. I thought I backed that one already. But yeah, Tart is on Kickstarter right now. Um, the reason why I'm not backing this one yet, I'm trying to figure out where to where to jump in on that one, but uh, I have been getting the comics from my uh, comic shop, my local comic shop, uh, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, and uh, I will talk about that later. Okay, what else is on Kickstarter? Oh yeah, uh, oh, dang it, sorry for this, I have them all ready, but where I have to go from window to window, it kind of throws things off a little bit, so I'm waiting for the window to buffer. Here we go. My own Kickstarter is on, is live right now. It has, how many days do I have? 27 days to go. If you want uh, Peter Pan the Vampire comic books, I recommend you get on in on that one. Uh, I am trying to get, kickstarting right now, I am trying to get uh, pins of my Rent Art Studios icon some of you may have gotten a couple of these postcards in the mail. If you want one to, in the mail, direct message me your uh, address and I will send you a postcard. Easy peasy. Um, but yeah, Rent Arb Studios pins are on Kickstarter right now for 27 days. Check that one out. I just had a new backer, a David Adams. Thank you, David Adams, for uh, checking out my Kickstarter and jumping in on that. He's I'm very thankful for him, so 
uh, and the uh, b other people who have also been backing me. I have I'm a third of the way. I need three hundred dollars to get the pins made, and I am one hundred down already. And let's see, this is not a Kickstarter, but uh, I have fa recently discovered a comic book, not a comic book, um, a Webtoons comic that is called Among Us. It is on Webtoons, and it is a very cool read about uh, a conductor and a violinist and just how they uh, get to know each other so far. And yeah, it is drawn really well. It's very cute. And uh, let's see. So check out Among Us on Webtoons. Very cool. Uh, they had a Kickstarter a little while ago. And uh, I wasn't familiar with it yet. So I was not able to jump in on it yet. But maybe the next time I see a Kickstarter from Among Us, I will jump in on that one. So that is all I'm going to show you from that. Last time I did a review for Incident Report, I forgot to mention that it came with uh, stickers. These are some really cool looking vinyl stickers. If you know me, uh, you know that I am a big fan of stickers. I have them on everything I own. My wallet is literally covered in stickers. So those will be cool. I will probably put these on my uh, lunchbox. And I recently got some more mail. Kaylin Smith sent me For Goodness Sake, which I backed on Kickstarter, and so that's why I got this comic book. Can't wait to read that. Uh, I will throw it into the read pile. But it looks very nice. It's a trade paperback of the first volume. For goodness sake, by Kaylin Smith. Ooh, and it came with a sticker too. Awesome, I didn't even know that was in there. So I have a little sticker of a puppy, it looks like. Oh, and I have a sticker of this guy right here. So cool. Those are gonna be going in my read pile. So, what am I reviewing today? That Kickstarter I mentioned earlier, Tart. I just read Tart Issue 1 that I got from my local comic book shop, uh, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. This is by Kevin Joseph and Ludovic Sully. And oh my gosh, this is a very good story. It is about uh, a redhead that's traveling through time uh, I don't know if she travels, she is kind of just awakens in other times. And so she awaken, awakens in what I think is, let me see here, there is a newspaper. It does not say what year it is. But I swear she wakes up in the 50s, and that, or it's the 30s, um, I don't know. She awakens in this other time, there's a missing boy, and she knows where to find him. He's kind of in another realm. And so she uh, travels to that other realm by using baby teeth. It's kind of complicated, but if you read the story, it makes more sense. I love the art. The art is insanely uh, well done, and it is... I, I don't think this will show up on the camera, but every page looks like it is overlaid on top of a canvas. And so you see that texture of a canvas underneath all the art. Oh my gosh. So I was so into this story. And then when I got to the last page, it tells me how to, uh, it tells me to order uh, volume one in trade paperback uh, through my local comic shop. So that's exactly what I did. I sent a picture of this last page. It has the ISBN number right here on the bottom. And so my comic shop is going to get this for me, put it in my hold, and then I can read the entire 160 pages of Tart, Volume 1, pretty soon. So yeah, I'm excited for that. 
Tart, which is on Kickstarter right now for, I think, issue 10 that I showed you earlier. So you, there are multiple ways you can get Tart right now. You can get it from the Kickstarter where you back issues 1 through 10, and so you will get this one and all the way up to issues 10, um, or you can get the trade and this issue from your local comic shop. Um, so yeah, talk to your local comic shop and uh, get them to carry Tart for you. Tart is from Scout Comics and uh, Scout Comics makes a lot of good stuff that I've been reading. Um, what did I read from Scout? Uh, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse is from Tart and uh, White Ash. Oh my gosh, I am a huge fan of White Ash. I've been backing them since the first issue. Good stuff. Uh, every time I back them, I get two issues of it, one for me and one for my friend Brooke. Um, so yeah, Scout Comics is some good stuff. They make Tart. Tart is good stuff. Uh, I've read some other things from Tart. And so now that brings me to uh, Woodland Creatures on my review. Uh, Man, Wood, Woodland Creatures is a comic. I came across it, the art on uh, Instagram back when I had an Instagram. And uh, the art looks so good. It is by Christina Roswell, Folly Ruiz Davila, and Tomas Era. With the letter um, Gonzalo. Duarte and assistant editor Paul ba Baumeister and on-site promotional and general moral support Alan McLeod. Anyway, Woodland Creatures is a, it's a new way of writing werewolves. Uh, basically these guys they have a big wolf with them and uh, rather than transforming into a wolf they're psyche goes into the wolf and then they it kind of like an avatar situation they can run they run away around as a wolf man this story is very well told um, right now the first issue sorry whew, the first issue starts with a uh, meeting with the UN where uh, the main character here is a lieutenant and he uh, goes to speak with them. It is black and white line art, uh, no gray tones. Man, this came with a uh, couple, two bookmarks, and it came with a postcard. Those are my boys. Um, it came with some um, postcards and line art. The way the color and cover is colored. It is so good, well, it's so well drawn, and man, I wish it was colored. If it was colored, I would sure buy that uh, version as well. I'd buy all the versions because this art is amazing. Tomas does such a great job. I always see uh, the updates on the Kickstarter. That's how I got this. The updates always blow me away, showing uh, how how it goes from thumbnail to uh, finished product. Anyway, so yes, when uh, Woodland Creatures comes out on Kickstarter, which I think it is coming to Kickstarter soon for issue volume two, um, I'm going to back it again because, I, man, it was a good story. Very well told. You could get it in Spanish and English. And uh, so right now I suggest you go on to Facebook and uh, like the Woodland Creatures fan page or group and uh, check it out. Find out through uh, the Facebook group how you can get a copy of it because you will not be disappointed because it's good stuff, good read. Woodland Creatures. Um, yes. So that is all I have to tell you for now. Check out my Kickstarter right now on uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo, you can get my Rentnarb Studios pins, and you can get Peter Pan the Vampire comics. Let me grab those real fast. Show you what I'm talking about. 
because I don't think I've ever done that before. Um, so I make a comic book called Peter Pan the Vampire. I have issues one, two, and three that you can get on the uh, Kickstarter with your pins. So do please go check out Peter Pan the Vampire on uh, Kickstarter right now. Get the Rentnar pins. Get you some comic books. I even have, oh I don't have that with me right now. I have a blank cover. You can ask for a sketch of anything you like. If you're a Stitch fan I can draw Stitch. Jack Skellington. Um, whatever you want me to draw on that cover. I could even draw you on that cover. Uh, I have drawn a co-worker Thomas and his uh, Golden Retriever on a cover. That was fun. So thank you for watching Rent Art Studios on YouTube. And uh, thank you for bearing with me through this uh, awkward video. I know I'm doing a lot of weird running around and uh, I don't know. I forgot where I was going with that. Sorry for if you were able to hear my kids fighting in the background. That's just how it is here. Uh, I don't have a studio or anything as you can see. We're not in my basement now. This is my bedroom. Um, but yeah, it's just how it is. Low tech, awkward me sitting here. I should have said goodbye a while ago. I'm going to turn this off now. Bye. And I haven't turned it off.